Prominent Nigerians have paid tribute to the late Chief Emmanuel Chukwemeka Iwayazu, the President General of Ohanese Ndigo Worldwide, who passed away on July 25, 2024. Family, friends, and well wishes gathered in their numbers at the service of songs and nights of tribute to eulogize him, who many call a man of many parts during his lifetime. Victor Mbadike brings us the details. Waves of intense and very difficult emotions as the passing of the President General of Ezindigo worldwide leaves a bittersweet tale. His children believe his legacies will act as their strength during their difficult times. I'm missing him already. I cry in my secret place. How can I not see a job come back again? You know, God, God will grant me, grant us the strength. Yes, God has been kind to us. He has been through a lot. Is it the political life? Is it the civil war? Is it, again, you know, during his medical problem? But God showed himself strong. Regarded as one of the most valuable exports from Igbo land, Iwanyawu's achievement, especially in nation building, has left many good tales about his personality from his admirers gathered here. He was an extraordinary businessman. As his daughter told us, he was involved in a number of businesses. I think he ended up with a conglomerate of 20 companies. I would dare to say that Chief Emmanuel Chukwemeka Iwanyamu was a true idol. Chief Emmanuel Hawaiian was a respected elder statesman and a champion of unity. His voice resonated particularly in advocating not only for Igbo but for Nigeria in whole and promoting across our nation. His message was a message of diverse ethnic group and appreciating that we could be different. Well, all the Retired prelate of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, Dr. Samuel Kaluuche, used the occasion to call for a more united Nigeria and the release of Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who remains in the custody of the federal government. He labored for the unity of Nigeria. Yes, he labored for it. And we want one Nigeria, one united Nigeria, where nobody is oppressed. Why you have agitation now is because people are still being oppressed. Babi Wayan had wished that Nam De Khan would be released before he died, but it didn't happen. Let me use this tribute to say to our leader the president, that for Nigeria to be united and have peace, let him please release Nam De Kano The late elder statesman who took over from the late George Obiozo as leader of the Ndibo in 2023 will fondly be remembered for his roles in football development as the chairman and owner of the now defunct Iwanyawu National FC. From Lagos, Victor Mbadike, STV News.